Welcome back to Math for Game Developers, where we're going to find another application for root finding. Here we have a rocket, and its stabilizers are all wonky, and its maneuvering thrusters are out of control, and it's, it's thrusting at full throttle, and it's rotating in a really weird way, and it's headed toward this ground, and we have no idea where it's going to hit it. So this isn't a typical um, projectile motion problem. This is kind of a weird problem. There's drag involved, there's weird rotations and that sort of thing, but we still want to know what is going to be the intersection between this rocket and the ground. So this is another example of where you can, use, you can take this problem and transform it into a root finding problem. So how are we going to do that? Actually, I drew this rocket trajectory two needs like this. Okay. This is the intersection we want to find. I'm going to draw it red because the rocket's going to blow up when it gets there. <laughs> um, and how do we do that? We have one projectile, which I'm going to call f of x. And we have the ground, which I'm going to call g of x. Okay, And we want to know when f of x minus g of x is going to be equal to 0. When you subtract them, they're the same. So, you know, if you subtract them and they're the same and they turn out to zero, that means they're the same. None of what I just said made, said made sense, but I, I think you probably get the idea. If you subtract them and they're zero, that means they're the same. Okay, so if I make a new function h, h of x equals f of x minus g of x, then we can do root finding on this function h. And that's what we're going to do. And we're going to use a new method called Newton's method. And to explain how Newton's method works, I'm going to draw another graph here. Okay. Let's say that this is h right here. This is my h function. And we want to find this, um, this intersection point. All right. What is x when the value of h is 0? And we already have an estimate. We can just use a very simple estimate. We, we can pretend that this is a you know, regular projectile motion, and we can pretend that this is a more or less flat surface, and we can get an estimate that way. And let's say our estimate is right here, x naught. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna find h of x naught. That's this point right here h of x naught. And I'm going to find the slope, the tangent line at that point. And you can see that that tangent line intersects the x-axis at a point very close to where uh, to where the actual function intersects the x-axis. So we can use this fact to improve our estimate of x. And here's how we're gonna do it. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna write a formula uh, called point intercept, no, I'm sorry, point slope form, which you probably encountered in uh, grade school somewhere. So the idea of this formula is we have a point x naught y naught and we have a slope m and we can make an equation for this green line using this formula by just plugging in our slope and plugging in our point. Okay so we can find we can find the uh, the point because we know that y naught is just going to be h at x naught. And we can find the slope because this function is going to have a derivative. Now here's a caveat. The function might not have a derivative. If it's crazy like this, if it's the ground, then we can approximate the derivative. And there are a few different methods of doing that. And the easiest method is just to take a point right here 
and take a point right there, evaluate the point, the, the slope at, um, evaluate the function at two points, and then use this line right here as the tangent. Um, and that's called, that's called a secant. But for now, I'm just gonna, so that's pretty straightforward to do to find that secant. So for now, I'm just going to assume that we can either use that approximation or that h prime, the derivative of h, exists, okay? So I'm going to rewrite this function now. Uh, this formula right here. Why did I write f? h x naught equals h prime. That is the derivative or the tangent, the slope of the tangent line at the point x naught times x minus x naught. So that is the formula for this green line. Now we know that the intercept of the green line happens when y equals zero. So this is gonna to go to zero and we're solving for x. We're trying to solve for x. So if I do solve for x, this is what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get x equals uh, x naught minus h at x naught over h prime at x naught. Now that is a, um, an approximation of x, not actually x. So I'm gonna call it x one. So this line right here is going to get an intercept with the x-axis pretty close to x to where x is. And I'm gonna call that x one. And then I can do this over and over and over. Now I can use x1 as a new estimate and it's a much better estimate. So I'm gonna get, a, so if I do x1 minus, I'll even use a new color for it. x1 minus h at x1 over h prime at x1, then I get a new estimate, x2. And I can keep doing this forever or until I get an acceptable um, estimate, an estimate that's within, you know, I can use the same error calculation uh, that I used, for example, in the bisection video and to, uh, to determine whether I'm, I'm now accurate enough. So this is Newton's method and it converges to the answer that you want much, much faster than bisection method. And the reason for that is that every continuous function looks flat if you zoom in enough. If you zoom in to a very small space around the intersect of this function in the x-axis, then you can see the line looks almost straight at that point. And if it doesn't look straight, then keep zooming in and eventually it will look completely straight. Um, and when it is completely straight, this tangent line is an exact um, estimate of that line. So the more you zoom in, the better your uh, estimate gets. So Newton's method is a really strong method to use to, uh, to estimate, uh, to, to do root finding. But of course, we have a few limitations, as always. And one, limitation number one, is that you need a good first guess. Uh, and so as an example of what happens if you have a bad first guess, let's use this point as our first get, guess. It's not really far from that point, but you can see the tangent line at this blue point intersects the x-axis way far away from where we want to be. Um, so this would make a, a bad first guess. So a lot of the times you can use, for example, bisection method to get a better first, to get a, a good first guess. And then you use Newton's method to improve your guess. Um, the second requirement that you need is you need either, it has a derivative, or 
or you can get a good estimate of the derivative. And that's all you need. Uh, Newton's, me Newton's method is a really powerful method. Um, so no code section for this video. Next week, we are going to continue our exploration of numerical analysis. Probably, I think what's next on the docket is to go to interpolation and a few methods of doing that. So I'll see you next time.